Netumbo Nandi Ndeitwa at the closing of the drawn-out verification and certification process commended all party members, particularly those who worked tirelessly around the clock since the start of the Congress on the 25th of November. The Swapo Party's 7th elective Congress, however, did not have a smooth ending. Only the announcement of the top four was received with roaring applause. Returning officer Joshua Gombe says it became clear that he only verified and certified the results of the top three, that of the vice president, secretary general and deputy secretary general. It was after the announcement of the names of the 70 central committee members that a feeling of confusion and uncertainty rose among party members. Gombe explained that he announced the names of the elected CC members without signing them off. The list of the female candidates saw the absence of political heavyweights such as Prime Minister Sara Kugongwela Amadila, Education Minister Anna Nipondoka and veteran politician, Governor of the Thomas region, Laura McLeod Kashirwa. But lawyer Gombe was quick to point out when he spoke to NBC News that he made a mistake that needed to be corrected. When I announced the result, after announcing the result, I realized it was not verified by the auditors. Okay? That's a very important step because we said it's a free and fair election. Netumbo Nandin Deitwa, the Swapo Party's presidential candidate for 2024 national elections, commands Gombe's actions. What he did is humbling, she says. I watched him on the screen when he was talking, humbling himself to the Namibian nation, humbling himself to Swapo members, and pleaded with us and say, give me a chance to correct my mistake. Some of those who had made it to the CC, but are not now on it, have their celebratory lights and a taste of power within the party dimmed. Sophia Shaningwa advised the party members that taking the legal route would result in wasting of already scarce and limited resources. Emil Sebeb, NBC News, Ventuk.